PPE as a service that was initially set up reactionary due to the pandemic. It was set up over literally a few days by, by interested individuals across the trust and people who were unable to work within their normal workplace due to the fact that services had actually suspended. It's a testing challenge working in PPE. We're working with very little data. So what we need to do is to be able to predict the future now with our crystal ball. When is the next spike happening? Is it happening now? Are we already in it? How much PPE are we are going to need? What type of PPE is anything going to change? I'm working with some fantastic colleagues here. Everybody in PPE team is seconded. Uh, or has no, or had no work within their previous areas and they have been absolutely amazing really really working hard and they made me feel welcome immediately and every person coming into the team the ethos has been about a new team who are all going to go back to their normal places of work but all working together to the, for the same cause and um, part that we have a, an ethos we have a vision in PPE uh, giving positive colleague support, confidence and assurance in quality safe PPE at this time of concern. And that's our strapline, that's our vision and is really important to us. Uh, reaction from colleagues across the Trust uh, has been very good, um, but they, obviously they've had their control of ordering PPE taken off them, which has must have been very worrying for them initially. PPE is now all centralised and uh, we are able to give them that assurance that they will get everything and a quality item that they require whenever they need it. And we have really good feedback from colleagues knowing that they can get what they need and when they need it. At the beginning of the pandemic, there were some really testing times regarding PPE. Colleagues didn't know whether they would be able to get what they needed. Obviously, it was all over the media. Uh, that there were shortages and that was nationally and internationally. In Harrogate we have had, we've been lucky enough to have a reasonably consistent supply and I don't think there's ever been a time where anyone hasn't been able to actually get the item that they really need, even if it's meant moving PPE around from one place to another. Uh, people have had what they've required but that has been at the expense of some really, really hard work by people early on in the pandemic, but they got there and colleagues have got what they needed. We now hold nearly two million items just within Harrogate Trust, and that covers obviously our regional deliveries as well, because we supply right out to Scarborough, Settle, Selby, North Allerton, all of our huge rural area. So my name's Will Greenwood, I'm a Clinical Locality Manager for one of the community care teams. Um, during the pandemic I've been redeployed as a physiotherapist, mainly working in Station View and other care homes around the locality. So my role during the um, outbreak was to rehabilitate patients in a care setting that had been discharged from hospital. The intention was that the patients, as soon as they were made medically fit or declared medically fit in the hospital setting, they would be discharged to our care where we, where we would pick up the rehabilitation. We would then rehab them in our facilities um, and as soon as we felt they were safe to be discharged home, we would facilitate that discharge, liaising closely with a supported discharge service who would then pick up the rehab in their homes and we'd also talk very closely with the social care um, and social services so that they would get all the appropriate care that they needed in home. The focus really was getting the throughput through the hospital to release bed space there um, and focus on rehabilitating people um, in their home. It's always nice to treat patients. Um, they're what got me into physiotherapy in the first place, so I thoroughly enjoyed my time in redeployment. A few weeks in, I was given a, a set team and I was able to um, create a lot more structure to my working day, which ultimately helped the patients because I was able to focus more time on, uh, on individuals and um, deliver more continuity of care. So I enjoyed my time whilst I was redeployed and I'm still doing one day a week in that redeployed role. Um, however, I really enjoy my, my job um, and I've thoroughly enjoyed returning to it, um, although there's a lot of catch up to do now. The feeling within our team um, was a positive one. 
all of our team were re-employed staff. We had um, staff members that are pulled out from the hospital, um, from other community jobs, other clinical jobs, um, and we, we were all really trying to pull together as best we could to uh, meet the needs of the patients, always putting the patients' needs first and foremost. Um, because we were a new team, there was a lot of learning that needed to go on um, in, in um, quite rapid sequence. So if there was ever something that we didn't know, we would have to ring around other teams to find that knowledge um, and adapt to it quite quickly. We would have to link back to our management um, who were based in the hospital quite frequently to ask questions um, and also reaching out to other services um, such as social services um, and the management um, and care staff within the, within the homes themselves. So it, it, was, it was enjoyable, I think everyone pulled together really well. Um, from my perception everyone seemed to enjoy their work um, and the patients, we had a really good feedback from patients. Um, in fact I've had more thanks from the patients um, in this role than probably most of our roles going, going backwards. So um, I think they appreciated what, what we were doing and that it was all uncertain times. But overall a very positive attitude um, and pulling together.